Introducing the December 2015 Stencil Club Stencils from Stencil Girl founder Mary Beth Shaw. This is Private Collection 15.5. Hi, it's Mary Beth Shaw, Stencil Girl Products. I'm here for the big reveal for the December stencils. And I designed them. There are some um, new ones of my private collection. We'll end the year with a private collection. And I am especially excited about these because they've kind of been in my head and... I've been um, wanting to turn them into stencils. So let me move the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here they are. This is a nine by 12, obviously, the six by six and the four by four. I wanna tell you what inspired these and um, why these are so important to me. This nine by 12, I have this thing, I've been on this journey all year in 2015 about mark making. And I've been expanding my arm because to make a mark and feel loose and free, you really need to get that arm going. And one of the things I've done is to paint some more paintings this year, such as this one where you can see my mark making comes into play. And it comes into play with different brush sizes, like here and here. And what you probably cannot see, I'm guessing, um, on the video are little pencil marks. And it's hard to do that in a smaller scale, to achieve the same sense of energy and movement. And that's what I wanted to do with this stencil. And I, you know, I just got going and was like, Whoa. and what I've done, and I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but let's get it as close as we can, is I've kept the edges intentionally rough to give that little hand-painted line. So the wider line is rough, the thinner line is smooth. You've just got a lot of action going on here. And I've been playing with this in my journals, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, and I'll have to say I'm pretty delighted with it. Now this one, you're like, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, oh. My grandkids are like, what do you have against one and six? That's seriously what my grandkids said to me. And I'm like, I don't have anything against one and six. It's not about the numbers. Because you know what, it's not. And I'll tell you why. This is a sheet of stickers, you know, like you buy at the office store or something. Well, I've used some of the letters, but I like the backgrounds. So this would be an example of a background. So like I used that and then this part is left over. I like the leftover parts. And that's what I wanted this to be. I wanted us to be stenciling the area behind the numbers to get a different impression. And I'll show you an example of that. And I think you'll see why I like it so much. And then finally, this is just a doodle. It's a little doodle I was doing and it's shown up in my work a lot. And I got to thinking about it and I thought I should memorialize that as a stencil because I really liked the look of it and I knew that I wanted to use it over and over. So I'll pull my journals over here and show you some of the stuff I have in mind. First of all, this is a journal spread that shows some of the sticker parts that I've used. So this is the negative space, the space behind the stickers. And that's what I'm talking about that I've used in my journals. Here's another area where I used a little section up here. And I do it so much, I just, <laughs> became a little bit obsessed with the idea of having a stencil that would help me create that that look over and over so let's see what we have in this journal all right so here is an example of the little baby one and here I took it around the edges and just created some little edge edge treatment with it and then I also used it within the journal page I love the look you can get with that and pop a little background out, especially when having a high contrast paint situation such as this. Here is the 9x12. I used it, I think I used it like, ha! Huh. Now what are the odds that I would lay it down exactly the same way? Okay, I used it like this and then I probably, knowing me, used it again like this. 
because that's what I will often do is to turn it or I'll turn it this way. This was some ugly page and you might be going, oh, it's still ugly, but I mean, it's got, it obviously needs more work, but I'm just trying to illustrate what one simple thing, it can create such movement across the page and that was exciting to me. Now here is where I use this guy. And you can see here along the edge how it just gives this lovely little edge treatment that you can't really tell. I mean, you can see a little bit of a zero there and some rounded parts and some little angular parts up here, but I really like that. And I'm excited for you guys to get the chance to play as well. And here's one more last look at this guy here. And what is so interesting about this is that these two bits are collage parts. Look at the marks on those collage parts as compared to these marks. It was very exciting to me as I looked at this and I realized that my mark making is getting a consistent look and that was just really exciting. I hope you like these stencils as much as I do. I am very thrilled to offer you this private collection of these stencils and these designs that are near and dear my heart. I'm so happy all of you are part of our stencil club. We enjoy this tremendously. It's one of the most exciting things we do here at Stencil Girl. So thank you for a lovely year and we look forward to sharing all the excitement again in 2016. We've already reviewed all the stencils for 2016 and I am telling you, you're in for a treat. For more information about our products, please visit us at www.stencilgirlproducts.com. Thanks!